right, here is video review for Megabox's MB14 Chinese Dragon from 5-2 Toys. We've got a couple of cool ones in this week. Uh, Chinese Dragon and Kieran. We'll do Kieran in a separate video, obviously. Uh, Chinese Dragon comes in a green-tinted uh, little charger box. Um, and because bo with both of these, I think Kieran does it, pulls it off a little better. Actually, just pop Kieran out of here just to show him off in cube mode. Kieran does pull off the cube a little better than Chinese Dragon does. They're both square shaped. They both fit in the charger, so they are still technically <laughs> in that cube adjacent thing. Uh, but none of them, none of them have cubed up quite as nicely as well. The turtles are, are actually really good cubes, and the uh, white noise, the owl, uh, is also very cubic. Um, but the Kieran pulls it off a little better than the Chinese Dragon. It's not bad because you're working with when you see the the final product. Fit, folding that into a cube is very impressive uh, as it is. But, uh, but yeah, squared off this is teal and some transparent orange all throughout. Um, but yeah, that's really about all there is to say about cube mode. And then we just start untabbing things. I can't remember exactly which one of these things tabbed in last. Uh, here, uh, these feet uh, here on the thighs. That ball joint likes to pop out. But uh, just kind of start unfolding things, bringing things around. Again, we're going to pop that out of there again. But, uh, yeah, the head. There we go. Once you once you get it unlocked, you can kind of... It's a lot easier to fold into place. So we bring this around to form the whole back end of the body. Um, untab this piece here from here and bring the leg down and around. Like that. Actually, that's not the leg, the tail. There's a little tab here that flips out. Latch these together. There we go. And snap together back here. And plug this together back here. This piece actually slots in. You can, you can pop it out to give it a little bit of uh, articulation, like that. And the tail comes together. These are not articulated properly. Um, like this. Here we go. Like that. Well, these are still not on the right side. What did I do wrong here? Bring the feet down. Rotate the feet around. There we go. Bring his head up. Don't pop it off the ball joint. There we go. Pull this up and around. Lock that into place. Rotate this. Rotate that. There we go. Yeah, just be careful pulling. The, this hinge right here is really tight, and that's what's causing that ball joint to pop out some. This should go all the way up into the up into the elbow there. And again, you want you want to bring that around so the, the slots on the front. This little piece right here folds up into the upper leg. Well, those ball joints really don't want to pop, stay in. And then flip the, the horns up. Bring his neck around to face forward. And then bring his head around on this ball joint up here. His mouth opens, which is cool. And there's the front end of the dragon. We'll bring the legs down and around like this. And rotate the feet around. Like that. I thought this moved a little bit further than that, but apparently not. Oh no, there's a tab there. Okay, but bring that around like that. These should should tab together a little better here. There we go. There we go. There's like I said, there's there's a lot of little moving pieces on this. So bring this so the ball joint faces out. The hollow parts are facing in. Like these two pieces right here. We get them lined up right. That'll tab in there, but he's, there we go. There's a piece of locking tab in here I'm missing. Nope, just that one tab. Let's remember this being a lot more secure initially. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. These two tail pieces tab together. To form a solid tail piece like that, oh, maybe that was it. There we go. And there is 
full-on Chinese dragon. Like I said, it takes a little bit of doing. It's a little fiddlier than some of their earlier stuff, but you, you get this long, skinny dragon out of a cube. Um, and again, you've got some articulation there. You've got the ball joints here, although, again, you want to be careful with this hinge here on the, where the beige meets the teal because that's tight and that can pop that ball joint out. You want to kind of support the ball joint there when you twist uh, or support any of this up here when you twist that piece around uh, around there on the uh, above them. This is the loose one. This one, this one will pop out. This one has always has been loose from the get go. But um, but it's a neat uh, neat little Chinese dragon. I said the Kirin's super impressive. Um, and this was pretty. The fact that they could fold this up into a, a mostly cube shaped thing is kind of cool. And I, and I like the look of the dragon. I wish, like they said, the tail's got a little bit of wiggle back and forth here. You can un unhinge it, but that doesn't really. That's mostly for transforming it to cube mode because it gives you some issues, the leverage on all the pieces connected together when it's unhinged to rotate it. But, um, yeah, I, I wish it had a little bit more articulation. You've got the ball joints at the hips, um, some ball joint at the feet. And you, and you can bend it like this. You can get it in some weird crunchy poses like this. And you can even get them to stand in some, even on these back hind feet. Like the ball joints back here are secure enough that you can do that. But... The only places you can really twist it are here at the neck. So you can get the neck kind of twisty, but I feel like a Chinese dragon like this should be able to kind of spiral and curly cue. And there's just no, like even if there were a swivel right here, although because of the way it transforms, but there were a swivel right here where you could even just kind of bend it side to side in the middle of the body, that would have that would have been cool. Or if the, this had been able to twist a little bit more at this joint as well, but it's locked into place by this. So, like I said, it's, it's not the most poseable offering from them. It's not my favorite of all of them. Um, it's not bad. It's a fun little Chinese dragon, and we'll have fun with them on the shelf. But there is MB14, uh, Chinese dragon from Megabox from 5-2 Toys. And we'll do the Kieran next. We'll save him. We'll bring him back out again uh, when we do the Kieran.